All right, guys. So uh, Fulu coming to you with another video. Um. So, you know, God, how can I say this? I really don't like. I really try to be hesitant on giving Canelo Alvarez like, a, like, like. Um, how should I say attention on this platform? You know what I mean? But the thing is, he's fighting one of my favorite guys. You know, he's fighting Dimitri Bivol. And for those of you guys who don't know, I mess with Bivol very heavily. You know, um, Bivol, he kind of has like kind of like an amateur style a little bit, but it's a little bit more aggressive than an amateur style. Because, you know, when you watch Bibble fight, he's always in and out, in and out, boom, 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 in and out, in and out, right? So, um, I like to watch him fight. I think he's a good fighter. Now, the issue is this, though. Um, this, unfortunately, this whole thing could be done by design. This whole thing could be like actually part of a bigger plan. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Now, while keeping things, while, while keeping things like politically correct, I mean, everybody knows how I feel about the whole Russia situation. You know, everybody knows where I stand. Everybody knows that I refuse to believe what mainstream media says about the whole situation. I'm not going to even, I don't even watch the news when it comes to the situation in which it's going down. You know, I don't even, I don't, I don't do it. I just don't watch. But anyhow, um, according to a report, they're saying that Canelo has chosen the wrong time to face Dimitri Bivol on May 7th. And um, the reason, and and they're also saying that you know, um, Mushroom Boxing should have opted for another opponent like Jamal Charlo or David Benavidez for the single day mile day. And the reason why they're saying that is because um, there's the Russian in quote unquote invasion of Ukraine. And there's a huge backlash against Russia, of course. And the reaction to the invasion um, is um, the World Boxing Association won't let um, Russian fighters enter the ring with their uh, with their country's flag. Um, So Canelo, he decided, you know, whatever the case may be, he doesn't care about the, the feedback, you know. Um, but they're saying that Canelo, it would have been better if he waited and delayed the goal of light heavyweight. Um their country won't be named, you know, the, the flag, they can't enter the ring with their flag, you know, um, and Another thing is um, the zone. You know, the zone won't admit that they have taken an L. You know, the zone will not admit this. You know, um, but 
they're now putting the 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 um, the fight on pay per view, of course, uh, and you know that that kind of destroys the whole thing about um, th- th- this. Like when, when like they put it on pay per view, that kind of just like destroys the purpose of having a streaming service because. I mean, I think at the beginning of their campaign, um, uh, you know, the zone said pay-per-view is dead. You know, I think that's what they said. You know, um, they said that the pay-per-view, the pay-per-view, uh, boxing is, is no longer a thing. You know, these were some of the talking points that they had. So, I mean, my thing is, okay, if pay-per-view boxing is dead, then why are you guys having, um, why are you guys having, I want to say, uh, pay-per-view, right? Now, there were some other things that, uh, you know, he said, Canelo said, and I, I hate to, like, really even mention him, but I'm, I'm just going to mention him, you know, um, now he said that he, he said that basically, you know, that he will fight the winner of, he, he will, he will fight the winner of a tournament. And that tournament would consist of a last man standing type thing. It would be, um, it would be Jamal Charlo involved. It would be, um, David Benavidez involved. It would be, I don't know if it would, uh, it would be. I don't think he, I, I, I still think he d- does not want to have any parts with uh, Demetrius Andre. That's just what I think. I just think that, like, he just doesn't want to have anything to do with that guy. You know, that's just it. Like, he, he just, it's just like, uh, for, it's just, a, it's just like we can assume that, that that fight, no matter what, no matter what, that fight will not happen. Um, even with Demetrius Andrade's, uh, you know, upcoming fight with Zach Parker, which will be in the UK, um, he will basically, you know, become a mandatory for Canelo, but Canelo will not fight him. You know, Canelo will say the same thing that he beat nobody and that, you know, uh, he doesn't he's not going to get a fight with me. Now, one thing I will say is that the and I'm going to end this video on this note. I'm not going to go too much into it, but my question is, uh, you know, Rocky Fielding, Callum Smith, Caleb Plant, Avery Yildrum, and who else? Who else? Uh, Let me see who else. Um, Billy Joe Saunders. They didn't have to do a tournament, you know, like that's the thing. They, they, for them to fight Canelo, they didn't have to do a tournament. They didn't have to cancel each other out, you know, but for whatever reason, um, David Benavidez, uh, Charlo, they have to cancel each other out. 
I'm not including Andre because I just don't think that happens. You know, I'm not cl including David Morrell either because I definitely don't think that happens either. It's just like stylistically. It, the thing is, is this. And I'm going to end it on this note. Um, the thing is, is this. Um, stylistically, Dave, David Morrell, Osvari David Morrell Jr. and Demetrius Andre have everything that basically... Um, Canelo doesn't have. They have footwork. They have superior boxing ability. They have the ability to switch hit. They're fast. And they're long. All of this Canelo does not have, you know. So with that being said, he's not he's not gonna bother um with them, you know. I think, I think the thing that Bivol and, and I'm going to end it on this note. I think the thing that Bivol really needs to do in order to win this fight. And because I'm watching some highlights from him right now. Bivol likes to, um, Bivol likes to pretty much, he, he, he'll, he'll outbox the crap out of you. He'll outbox you. He will have no problem cruising. He'll cruise along. You know, that's the thing. He'll cruise, 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 cruise. 12 rounds. You're beat up. He's won. He has no problem with doing that. Now, the thing that Bivol needs to do. This is the thing that Bivol needs to do. To win this fight. Bivol needs to go to that body because Bivol head hunts a lot you know he loves that head but if he can put it together to the body then there may be a chance so I hope that's what he does you know I like Bivol's demeanor he's like quiet dude very calm but I just hope he just shows up to fight man I hope he shows up to fight you know he has that switch you know, that's the thing. He has that switch. I like that he has that switch, you know. Very stoic kind of guy. You know, I, I hope he can do it, man. But anyhow, I, let's just see if the fight even happens now. Because of this whole, put the political implications. Let's see if it even happens, man. But anyhow, man, fool is signing out. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Enjoy,